we will show you also today something which you didn't saw anywhere. We have some inside pictures from a secret Rolex collection. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're watching the video right now? Did you also subscribe to our channel? We are doing our best to provide you the news and the content. So please leave a like. This will make me very happy and I'll see you in the next video. So now enjoy the novelties from the fair. This morning, the fair watches and wonders started and a lot happened. Daytona got discontinued. What you should do now, what you should buy now. Tudor released some new watches. All of this we will cover in this video. So let me first begin with the watches which are discontinued. So first of all, the Daytona steel with the ceramic bezel is out of production. We have a new model. It looks slightly different. We have some longer hands and the indices are different. And also for the platinum model, there is a special anniversary with the open case back. Yeah, exhibition case back looks gorgeous amazing besides that we also have a novelty regarding to hold the bezel there is a metal ring outside of the bezel we have a new movement and this leads to a lot of dynamics inside of the market obviously the discontinued watches are high on demand right now and the prices went up also out of production is the John Mayer dial so you have the yellow gold with the green dial and the white gold with the blue dial they are out of production if you have one, then congratulations yeah it was a good choice let's see where the prices are heading to in the secondary market right now for these models if we are topping the all-time high and now if you can get your hands on one of these discontinued models it's always a great choice especially the steel models but also regarding the Daytona with the open case back be sure the dynamic is always the same okay a new model get released the list price is more expensive there is a lot a high demand then the first watches gets listed on Chrono 24 and the other models are just increasing in price. So and then the just fresh released models get a little bit down and then the prices remain at one point. But for the discontinued models, Daytona Platinum, Steel Daytona, all of this, they will be more expensive in the future than you see them probably right now. Also discontinuous is the Mill Gauss with the green and the blue dial, um, out of production, completely out. And yeah, let's see, right now the prices are raised by let's say 10%. It's a very colorful model, it sticks out of of the whole collection so maybe we see something there we will show you also today something which you didn't saw anywhere we have some inside pictures from a secret rolex collection and this I will show you in just a second. One model got a lot of attention from the secret collection and this is the day date. You can see it here, Watch Anish posted a video. It has some emojis yeah, for the date window and also here for the day, you can see that it's written hope and all of this stuff. It's kind of, I mean, that Rolex release, something like this, it's unbelievable yeah, what they did. But I'm, I'm sure that it will also be highly demanded. But now let's speak about something you didn't saw at the fair and online, so this is kind of a world premiere. We have some rare watches with a gem set. So first of all, there is a GMT Master left hand with emerald stones, black sapphires and diamonds. So there's a baguette bracelet on it, looks awesome, but let's move on. Then here we have two Daytona models with ruby stones. This reminds me a little bit of Patek Philippe, yeah, with this high contrast. Very interesting, the first time I see this, especially the white gold model, the contrast with the black dial looks awesome. Then if we move on, this is the first time we have a full, full, almost like chandelier Daytona model in yellow gold and white gold covered with baguette get and brilliant cut diamonds. Yeah, the prices, I don't know, but surely this looks awesome. For Rolex, this is almost it. We also saw a novelty regarding the Sky Dweller with the green dial. We saw 42 millimeter Yachtmaster in titanium, some great releases. And uh, let's see, yeah, a lot is happening in the collection, but the Daytona is one of the most important. Also, we have the Sky Dweller in rose gold with the blue dial and the uh, Flora in 40 millimeter. No one asked for this watch, but anyway, it's good. Now uh, let's speak about Philippe also there we saw something nice and something which is kind of uh, I don't I don't like it at all now this is just horrible in my opinion but maybe if you see it in real life then it looks different so we have first of all some new Calatrava models 6007 with red yellow and the Tiffany color I have to say the requests for Calatrava models in general is picking up and this is a great release so colorful models then on the other hand we see a 5960 Eight, 86, 68, 68. This is a chronograph, Aquanaut in rose gold, and then there is a rose gold annual calendar with the moon face at 12 o'clock. 
and this is the most I, I mean it's for me it looks really strange uh, it looks almost like not real like a fake watch I don't know so this is not my favorite but what what to do also what I want to mention is Tudor has released a new bracelet now you can get the Black Bay on Jubilee bracelet interesting and um, I think this will also be over the list price other than the Oyster models what else can I tell you we have some great Santos models in skeleton released from the brand Cartier also there is a Santos with the green dial nice novelty then we also have all the other uh, manufacturers Lange and Söhne released the Odyssey chronograph all this stuff but mainly probably all of you are interested in the novelties from Rolex so this we covered let me know what you think of the gem set watches and if you saw them before our video yeah I don't think so and this is it so thank you very much for watching and I see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Ciao.